Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and I thought I should show off an app. I recently I, I've uh, reinstalled my MacBook, or I did a clean install of Snow Leopard. I'm not online because uh, this is one of the older MacBooks, but I was looking for some essential OS X apps because I've really been neglecting uh, installing apps on my uh, Mac. So I decided, like I said, to reinstall it, uh, or reformat it, and you know look for some cool apps. And obviously, this is one of them you really hear about. And it's nothing new. It's called Alfred. And I thought I'd show it to some people who've never used it before, have never seen it before. Uh, it's, you know, I, I was a little spectacle at first at getting it because it's kind of just like one of those uh, many, many launchers out there. You know, there's Quicksilver, uh, if you're familiar with Windows, Launchy, which is something that's really great if you, like, uh, you know, set everything up and, you know, just get in the habit of using it. But if not, then you kind of just forget about it. But I've actually been using this a lot lately, and uh, it's called Alfred. So, again, you can look this up in the App Store. Uh, it's a free application, so, you know, there's no harm in trying it. It's a keyboard-driven productivity application, basically. Basically, this allows you to do a lot of stuff in OS X much more quicker. And really, I found myself using it more than I use Spotlight, so I thought I'd just make a quick video on it. Uh, it's, again, like a program launcher, like I mentioned, and you can install it for free. And once you get installed, I'm going to open up. This is how it looks right here. Uh, not by default, but I can click on the settings icon and uh, show you off, first off, general. So to, alf to activate the Alfred hotkey, I'm using uh, my Windows key and space. The reason I say Windows key is because this is hooked up via Synergy and I'm sharing my keyboard with it, so I'm using my Razer uh, Lycosa keyboard. Um, so I just set it to Windows space. You can set it to Command space if you're on a Mac or whatever you want to set it to. Um, and then you can tell it where you are, international, or you know if you want to specify your location that way when it's, uh, sh uh, what do you call that? searches websites like Google or uh, eBay, it knows to kind of look in your uh, local area or something like that, you know, if you're in Japan like I am or, uh, you know, Canada or anything like that, so you can uh, kind of filter out the search results. Um, and then you can click on keyboard and you can kind of set your, uh, you know, some options here for your action modifiers and stuff like that, or you can kind of change it so it can search with Spotlight or something like that, you know, if you want to do that. Uh, under features here, it uh, has a lot of features and a lot of stuff you can edit. Default results, it's going to search in your essentials, which are your preferences, your contacts, and your bookmarks. But if you can also get more uh, productivity by uh, putting in your extras. So I mean, you can make it search within folders, you can make it search within text files, documents, uh, Apple scripts, images. So it says here it, has, it works most efficiently if you have essential items ticked and use the open keyword to find files. So it uh, makes it a little bit more easier to. Uh, find files if you take some of these other extras as well like folders archives etc um, and again if you th that's just you know intelligent because you can kind of uh, that's what they call intelligent mode because it basically you can filter out exactly what you want to find but you can go unintelligent mode which will basically search for all file types but it does warn you here this can make this the default slow uh, search a little bit slower because it has to kind of archive or not only archive all the files but kind of you know search through them all so it may take a little bit uh, longer time File search. Uh, you can have keywords here to enable certain stuff. So, for example, here it gives you the uh, keyword find. Uh, so you can tell it to find an application, like uh, you know, this a certain name if you named a file uh, something. Uh, open. You can tell it to open a certain application, or if you know the file again, if you you know whatever the file name or extension is. And in basically, this, this will go inside file. So uh, you'll be able to see the content of the files and uh, you know basically the details about that specific file. Um, and you can add exclusions and stuff like that if you don't want, you know, people looking at your, if you don't want it to go through your history or your music, for example, or anything like that, uh, then you can kind of uh, tick those out. If you don't want to go through your calendar or email or contacts, that way if anybody else used it, they wouldn't be able to see your personal information through there. Applications, you can just, uh, this is basically just clearing your cache for applications and doing some other stuff. Uh, web searches, it has a lot of options here you can do with uh, this, and this was the main reason I also love to use it. Um, you can, you know, tell to do certain keywords for uh, or queries for certain searches on Google and stuff like that. So you can say maps, uh, Google, Lucky for I'm feeling lucky, which will take you the first page result. Gmail, uh, Reader, Docs, Twitter, Wikipedia, Amazon, IMDb, Flickr, Facebook. It all goes on, so you can switch through uh, search there. Custom searches, you can add that if you want. You just hit the plus button right here, and you can add your own search engines or sites and stuff like that. Calculator also does some cool math stuff. So I mean, that's also a plus. It does some spelling stuff, so you can say define or spell a word. This, I believe, uses a built-in dictionary uh, application. And you also have uh, system commands, which are really cool as well. You can tell it to do multiple stuff. Um, you can go in there and do f uh, some other stuff like file systems. You can tell it to eject uh, certain stuff from your DVD or you know uh, your CD uh, drive. Um, and you can do some other applications like hide, quit, force quit, uh, stuff like that. So. Um, just to go qu really quick and show you, for example, so what I'm going to do here 
I'm gonna open it really quickly and I can say search oh oops if I can spell right so you can see it gives you all options here so you can say search blah, blah you know search Amazon for search search Wikipedia for search search Google for search I'm gonna say search Google for digital dojos and then quickly it just opens up and it'll Google digital dojos or I, I actually I think I can just say search digital dojos and I'll default to Google yeah there you go so you can say search digital dojos um, and just defaults to it or I think you can even you know you can do a whole bunch of stuff like Google digital dojos so there's a lot of alternatives to the command uh, I think Google you know works the worst uh, works the best I should say uh, if you just type in Google and then whatever afterwards um, like I said you can look for applications and you can see how just how quick it is it, it kind of goes as you typed uh, again it's always archiving and looking through your files uh, you can say open iTunes for example no wait there and iTunes will open so you can see there um, I don't know what else can you like I mentioned earlier you can do uh, you can calculator stuff so I can say 15 times 105 okay I, I can type today okay my caps lock on it 100 and whoops hang on okay caps lock off here and the keyboard still doesn't want to work what's up here so one 15 times 15 there you go now one work so 225 um, and if you actually click this it'll copy it to your uh, clipboard so you know some extra stuff like I said spelling so spell um, I don't know what I guess when you're spelling a word how would you do that because when you're spelling the word you're actually spelling it out so I'm guessing so it says use a keyword followed by a word to suggest spellings as you then type and copy the selected oh, okay so kind of guess I don't really understand how that one works but I guess it'll if you spell it wrong so let's see if I spell wrong wrong okay spell wrong I guess there you go uh, and I guess you can get a de uh, obviously see a definition so I guess the spelling one isn't too crazy unless you don't know how to spell the word then it'll kind of give you the best oh so it gives you the best results to what you're spelling so if you think you're spelling it wrong I guess you just type it in there um, alright moving on here there's appearance um, you can go into general how it looks there's a lot of stuff and how it acts you can mess with all of this stuff the theme I really like the dark it really matches uh, you can do line or light maybe there's some themes you can download out there I'm not sure uh, you can also view usage which is pretty cool because it shows you how many times you've been using it and right now it's only been used eight times and it shows you kind of like an activity chart uh, and of course you can go to the advanced to work around stuff with like Microsoft Office and rebuilding your index and stuff like that if uh, this can take over this basically well I'm guessing this doing stuff for like searching through your files if you feel like it's going slow or you want it to be a little bit faster um, and special do not press this button so let's press that what happened uh -oh. you decide to press the button what I do what in the world is this so it looks like you get a little extra here so get a little extra video there so uh, this is Alfred anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed uh, this is uh, a quick application for Mac OS 10 I just want to show you guys this uh, you know any other suggestions you guys can suggest for <laughs> any suggestions of applications you guys can rec recommend for me to download please leave them in the comments below uh, sorry for the lack of video lately, guys. Anyways, also go over to digitaldojos.com or youtube.com slash digitaldojos to see our latest iPhone 4S review. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.